The cameras are fixed to one man. Following a hat trick, does he have another big performance in him this time? Hello and welcome. And I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It is Sassuolo and they take on Juventus. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And so for the Sassuolo starting lineup. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And this is how Juventus will line up. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him taking on his old club, and that can bring with it a few complications. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Shot attempted. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Domenico Berardi. Now this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? But they dealt with the threat first. And a strong tackle. Pina Monti. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Moise Keane. Vlahovic. Trying to influence the game from a deeper position. Opportunity missed. Andrea Pinamonti. Berardi has it. Really important tackle. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here.
Cameras trained on one man. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Inter, and they face Sassuolo. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups. All up. Chance to finish. Can they slot it home? And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Inter have given away possession. And play halted, free kick given. Inter's lineup is as follows. Well, if they're going to play with the front two in this 3 5 2 system. Oh, hang on, Stewart, it's a chance. And still danger here. And he clears the danger. Well, for Sassuolo, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against Juventus. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, I thought they just about deserved their victory. They played with great energy. But today, it's a different proposition entirely. They're going to be up against it, and I can't see them getting anything from this game. And playing it through. And a goal! One for the opener and now they have it well just watch this again a change of pace a change of direction and a decent finish that's a very good goal now back underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next opportunity it is They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. And Sassuolo recovering possession well. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? Could be safe, but still a chance. Well, that could easily have finished the game off, but what an excellent save that was. Pina Monti, really fine piece of defending play to break. Thank you. 
a meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a packed and passionate stadium? So many questions to be answered. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Europa League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Servette and they face Sassuolo. Well, Derek, the travelling fans are coming here expecting another good performance. They really did play well in that first game. He's in here. Well, no work for the keeper when all was said and done. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. And he's made headway. It has to be, surely. Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, goal scorers thrive on confidence, and he's certainly got an abundance of that at the moment. Four goals in the Oh, line. they could finish here, Stuart! And off target in the end, and that'll be a goal kick. Couldn't keep the ball. And he keeps going. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Plenty of support here, but really sticking to the task defensively. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. To take the lead. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Fofana. Crivelli. Firing is in. Straight forward for the keeper. Well, this has to get better because, as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been... Oh, good. Stuart! Opportunity here! And the keeper more than equal to the task. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. 